during conflicts. To discuss this further, we are joined by Dr. Mustafa Ali. He is the Secretary General of Global Network of Religions for Children. Dr. Mustafa Ali, thank you for joining us. Thanks for coming on here on The Link. Talk to us about some of the major ways armed conflict has impacted women and children. Well, the, the statistics uh, to start with are great. Uh, if, you look at, um, if you look at the numbers of children that have been in, uh, conscripted into violent conflict as fighters in Africa alone, at one point the number was 120,000 mm -hmm. in Africa. That con and in Africa alone we had the, 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 the glo in terms of global figures that was 40% of the total number of children that are conscripted, that you will find them in the front lines fighting, and most of them end up getting killed, mm -hmm. injured, or severely traumatized. Well, Doctor, I guess my question to you then is that how can the safety of men, sorry, women and children be enhanced? Yeah, one of the ways, first of all, is to de-escalate the conflicts that are there and stop the wars. Uh, uh, for the political leaders around the world, uh, Advice to them is to not to initiate new wars or conflicts. Uh, the other thing, and, and this has been proven, is that when women uh, participate uh, in peacekeeping and uh, uh, enforcing peace, up as United Nations peacekeepers, we see that uh, there is less uh, challenges uh, associated with uh, um, attacks on children or, or using children uh, uh, for, for sexual exploitation, and, and, and this also applies uh, to the women. Of course, the, the, the overriding issue here is to strengthen the multilateral uh, uh, um, regimes, the convention treaties that protect children and women, particularly in conflict zones. And doctor, my final question to you before I let you go, let's discuss some of the key conflict prevention and resolution mechanisms that can help safeguard lives and livelihood. What do you have for us on that? Yeah, one of the ways to, to, uh, to, to safeguard children is to, as I said earlier, to strengthen those uh, convention treaties that are there to protect the children. Now, when the Convention on the Rights of the Child was uh, um, agreed in 1989, and uh, this year we are celebrating 30 years of the CRC, the Convention on the Rights of the Child, there are some issues that were not anticipated then in 1989. One of those was children in armed conflict. And um, in the wisdom of the United Nations, uh, what happened is in 2000, an optional protocol was uh, initiated and it was ratified in 2002. That optional protocol was uh, the one that focuses on children in armed conflict, mm -hmm. criminalizing the conscription and use of uh, uh, children in this uh, uh, conflict. These are some of the protocols and conventions that we need to strengthen. We need to make sure they are actually applied. And uh, institutions such as uh, Arigato International, the Global Network of Religions for Children, mm -hmm. are working hand in hand with UNICEF and the United Nations to make sure that these conventions are actually applied and they protect the children. All right, Dr. Ali, thanks for coming on. We appreciate your insights. You. That was the Secretary General of Global Network of Religion for Children, Dr. Mustafa Ali.